Ken McKinley. Can you remember any vivid moments that uh, stick out in your mind while you were racing for Leicester? Any exciting close finishes? Not really, Willie. Because normally you managed to get out in front and that was it. That was the last we see of you, wasn't it? Or the other three riders. Wasn't as bad as that, was it? <laughs> Not always, <laughs> no. Not always. I think the best race I ever had in Blackbird Road Circuit was when I was nominated to challenge the old funding for the Golden Helmet. Yeah. I managed to beat him 2-0. Mm-hmm. That must have given you a terrific thrill. It was. And did you do it easy, or did you have to come from the back, or...? No. I can't actually remember what really happened, but I know that I beat him twice, and he beat me twice at Norwich. So there had to be then a decider, Ken. That was a pull. Mm-hmm. And he beat me twice again. Uh-huh. She was the champion. Yeah. Yeah, he won it five times, didn't he? I think it was five times. Because I remember I interviewed him, I think it was the last time, and he says, yeah, he says, I've got one for each child now. <laughs> and I remember one year, I don't know whether it was the last one, he, he came out and with a either a walking stick or a crutch, he got a dodgy leg and he rode at Wembley. I don't remember that one. Uh -huh. What do you remember at Wembley? Now you had one or two world finals there, didn't you? I think I had 11. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed everyone. And you came near to winning it one year, didn't you? I did. Have one good final meeting. I think I scored it 11 or 12. I'm not sure which. But it was always a big thing to get to Wembley. As a crowning point of the season. Mm, mm. Just to get to the final. And a terrific atmosphere at Wembley as well, Ken. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Wembley. 1958. Well, that was when Ken scored his 11 points, coming second to Ronnie Moore in his first ride, second to Peter Craven next time out, winning his third, second to Ovi Funding in his fourth, and second in his fifth to Barry Briggs. Then in the runoff for third place with Peter Craven and Orb Lawson, he came on. Smartly picked himself up and nipped over the safety fence.